once thought I could save the world. Now look at it. In yet another augmented terror attack, 251 passengers aboard Sista Airlines Flight 451 were killed. When an augmented passenger broke into the plane's cockpit and ruthlessly butchered its flight crew. Details recovered from the black box recorder suggest that the man may have been suffering flashbacks to the AUG incident. That horrible day two years ago when augmented people all over the world flew into a psychotic killing spree, causing the greatest loss of life in recent history. Sometimes, you just have to let go. And embrace what you've become. Not gonna go all wonky on us now, Hansa. Are ya? Well, if I do, McCready, I guarantee you'll never see it coming. Agent Jensen! Am I gonna have a problem with you? No, sir. No reason to assume you would. Good. Because you are the only augmented operative on this team. And I intend to make good use of you. Listen up, all of you. We've got a sandstorm barreling down our ass, and we can't afford to make mistakes. We're going after this man, an arms dealer named Shepard. He's ex-Bell Tower, one of the Special Forces commanders who disappeared during the incident. And he's come out of hiding. That cannot be good. It's not. He's selling weapons and military-grade augments to terrorists. This is Aran Singh, the undercover agent who lured Shepard out of his hole. Best you see Interpol's got. For three years he's worked hard to get in tight with the Jin, an Iraqi smuggling cartel that's infected the Eastern Hemisphere like a plague. Last week, our arms dealer sent a message to the Jin, offering to sell them a shitload of black market merchandise dirt cheap. They told Singh to handle the buy. They're not gonna like it when Interpol disrupts their party. Is things cover really that good? It is right now. We need to keep it that way. This is where the deal's going down. A half-finished high-rise hotel that's been abandoned ever since the incident. It's not a pretty picture inside. Let me guess. Most of the laborers were augmented with heavy-duty industrial rigs. So when the incident hit and they all went schizo, things got gruesome real fast. And no one, except for some homeless junkies, have been inside the place ever since. What's the plan, Director? Singh's meeting Shepard on the ground floor, inside the hotel's main atrium. He sent the bulk of his gin crew to the penthouse levels to secure a vantage point. I want McCready's team to take up positions overlooking the atrium and make the arrest. Jensen, you're going in solo from the roof. My objectives? Keep the gin from joining the party. As far as we can tell, only one route connects the atrium to the penthouse level, a halfway decent elevator shaft, here. I want you to block access to it. Fine. Just cut me loose. Do you plan on relying solely on your augments for this one? I'd recommend taking a little hardware. Just to be sure. We've got a UC in there. Might be easier to maintain his cover if he's not the only one still breathing when this is done. Smart thinking. Yeah, but if anything does happen to him, you'll be telling his wife. After you get out of the hospital, of course. What about range? There's lots of wide spaces and high ceilings in there, but a number of tight and constrained rooms too. So it's a crapshoot, really. Never was one to play the odds. Give me something I can use up close. You got it. One last thing, Jensen. Singh said that Jin are using some sort of portable Wi-Fi device to boost communications. He's got a better chance of maintaining cover if you disable it. I'll keep an eye out for it. But aren't we on the clock here? You said there's a sandstorm moving in. There is, and we got the intel on this mission at the very last minute. So we're scrambling a little. If it comes to it, your number one priority is keeping the Jin out of that atrium. Copy that. Time to put away your heavy thoughts.
reports, gentlemen. We're approaching the target building. You're up first, Jensen. Let's do this. Task Force Action. This is Knife Leader. Engage Hus drives and descend to Angels 1-5. Team leader, this is Jim. Benson, I'm on the roof. Solid copy. Move into the building. The exit. This route you need to... Block us at the far end of the penthouses. And keep in mind, the direct route might... Not be the easiest one. Roger that. McCready will advise once his team is on the ground. Miller out. and we're moving through. Oh, fuck! What's wrong? The Jin have got a few Jennies up and running. We're gonna have to hack keypads. You should enjoy it, McCready. They have colors and shapes. Just remember, red means bad. Fuck you. Initiated. Access granted. Damn squatters. I think that was the last one. Ah, in the moment that I had Tani, I hope that I'm going to get a cut. I'm going to buy some cash and I'll I'll do another sweep in the eye. Just to make sure. I'll give you the idea of shade like that.
Gucci. Jensen, Mac, listen up. Doppler shows that sandstorm's moving in fast. It's big, and it's gonna hit us hard. God, I hate the fucking desert. Confirm visual? I can. Time is not on our side. Copy that. Solid copy. شايف اي حاجه غريبه McCready, how you making out? Slower than expected. It's like someone's still the fucking cemetery down here. Say again? When the shit hit the fan in 27, the rush must have been for the stairs. There's corpses everywhere. A lot of your cousins are here too, Jensen. You want me to grab you any spare parts? No parts. But I take mine with cream and two sugars while you're asking. Like it.
احسن لينا نمشي Jensen, watch your 20. Working my way through the penthouses. Remember to keep an eye out for the Jin's communications booster. If you can, disable it. Roger that. Jensen, watch your 20. Working my way through the penthouses. Remember to keep an eye out for the Jin's communications booster. If you can, disable it. Roger that. What's that doing? Not worry. What is that?
Listen up, everyone. Chang's hacked into the Jin's radio signal. Checking the patch now. We should be hearing Sing any second. Khalil, the guy who is going to be here is coming a little bit. Go tell the people that I'm going to kill you. And let you be waiting. Patch is clean. Solid copy. Good. I'll re-patch us once the deal kicks off. Miller, I've disabled the Jin's comms booster. Should make it harder for them to listen in on the deal. Good work. With luck, Singh's cover will still be intact when this is over. Roger that. Moving on to primary target now. Jensen, we're inside the atrium, taking up positions on the terraces. What's your 20? Still moving. Well, hurry the fuck up. Enemy helos inbound, and this sandstorm's getting close. You get that comms booster disabled? Affirmative. Booster's fried. So maybe the Tin Man does have a heart, after all. Way to look out for your team. Creedy out. Access route secure. Jin shouldn't be a problem. Over. Copy that. About fucking time. Enemy helo sighted. All right, strike force. Position and hold. Strike one, in position. Strike two, all set. Strike three, yeah. Strike four, in position and holding, boss. Eyes up, safety's off, guys. Yeah, no shit, Brown knows. Watch your fucking mouth, Halliday. Both of you shut up. Five in position. Everybody stay sharp. Singh's got eyes on Shepard. Patching you in now. Target's in the AO. Remember, Singh's down there, so watch your fire. You got balls, Singh? Executing a buy with a sandstorm on her ass. I cannot take credit for Mother Nature, mister. You can call me Shepard. I'll be the call. Are these the weapons? The Orcs. They're getting harder to come by. Guns are still on the chopper. 
Show me the cash quick and we'll... Oh, what the... Shepard is dead! What? By who? What's going on down there? Miller, this isn't the Jin. Repeat, it's not the Jin. <laughs> They're after the weapons! Open fire! Open fire! Weapons free! Open up our Agreed. Let me get a grab for the chopper. You got a shot? Negative! Negative! We're under heavy fire down here! We can't let that chopper take off, Jensen! I got it. Jensen, I can't reach him! Jensen, this se Miller, chopper's been grounded. Repeat. Jensen! You're welcome. What have the events in Dubai cost us? They knew the risks. How many assets did we lose? All of them. The sandstorm didn't help. The mission was a success. Clearly, your scale for success is a generous one. However, the erratic nature of the attack could work to our advantage. Interpol will be confused for weeks, and with our continued guidance, the people will come round eventually. We are all in this for the long game, after all. That's never changed. You think so? Do I need to remind you all how far we have veered off course? The Og incident has caused a schism in society. Things are worse than we projected, and growing more unstable every day. This will not be tolerated. To ensure the success of our vision, the disruptive elements must be excised. No one here disagrees with you. But let me fly to New York and I will personally evaluate the situation. We may already have the votes we need to ensure that the Human Restoration Act passes. Very well. Stanton, 
your company. You may need to exert financial as well as political pressure to silence anyone opposed. Proceed. Elizabeth, I'll contact you later. It won't succeed, Lucius, even with Dowd's money. You know what Rand will find in New York? Weak, ineffectual men. And with Nathaniel Brown still an unknown factor. Of course. That is why we're proceeding with our ultimate strategy. You have claimed much in the past, Mage. This is your chance to deliver. Everything is in place. We can initiate whenever you wish. I'll secure your communications, Bob. Jaina seems to have eyes everywhere these days. He and his juggernaut collective... Janus won't be initial. I've made arrangements. I laid the foundations. Now it is time to get everyone's attention. Page. Activate the sleep cell. Konečná stanice Růžičkovo nádraží. Příjezd za pět minut. Jensen, just getting off the train now. Copy that. We'll debrief when you get in. You coming straight to the office? Unless there's a problem at a checkpoint. Your papers should be in order. Just keep your head down. Miller out. Sweetie, you get my message about Dubai? Yeah. I'm glad you're all right, Adam. That ambush sounded pretty bad, man. Not something I was expecting, that's for sure. Any idea who hit us? Well, I'm sure your task force will come up with something. And that it won't be what the Juggernaut Collective digs up. Kinda odd, though, don't you think? Interpol sending your team, the Prague team, to Dubai in the first place? Miller said they were scrambling. Last minute intel. We were the only strike team available. Yeah, well, that's a lie. Better get moving. The Collective has been keeping tabs on all task force divisions ever since we slipped you into one of them. We've got a team in Oman. A hell of a lot faster than you guys. So why send us? I don't know. If the task force is an Illuminati front, we all suspect. It doesn't make much sense to send it into an ambush. Unless they wanted our team to see something. Officially. Don't make a scene, Adam. One dream of it, Alex. I swear it's gotten even worse here in the past few days. Everyone looking over their shoulder. Terrified dogs like us are going to attack them again. Somebody probably will. Treat people like animals long enough, they'll start acting like animals. You say that like there's nothing we could do to stop it. I already tried two years ago. It didn't work out so well. 
So what? Are you saying we should just give up? Let hatred and prejudice take over? To hell with that! I'm saying I can only go after enemies I see, Alex. The men who caused all this, the true power brokers, they're the ones I need to stop. I thought you knew that. I do. You, me, the Juggernaut Collective, we're all trying to stop them. It doesn't mean turning a blind eye to Then help me find them. about Dubai, about the Illuminati needing your team as witnesses, then we need to find out why. Who gave you the order to mobilize? Miller did. But it probably came from someone higher up the chain. Doesn't mean he's not in on it. Ever heard of the NSM? A neural subnet, sure. In TF-29, directors use it to plan ops and communicate privately in cyberspace. What's this? Whisper chip. Custom-made wiretap device. Janus designed it to fit inside the NSN's motherboard. Ah, the elusive Janus. Leader of the hacktivists. Am I ever gonna meet this guy? Someday, maybe. Right now you need to concentrate on Miller and find a way to access the NSN's motherboard. Listen, Alex, my systems are acting up a little, so I've got to get checked out. But if you want to meet or... What? No. No, no, I'm fine, man. You just take care of you. This girl's built tough. Give me a call when you're useful again, okay? All right, I will. Talk to you soon.
Open blinds. Good morning, Adam. You have one new message. From? David Sarah. <sighs> Adam! Thanks for calling me back, son. Seraph. I heard about the bombing in Prague. It's all over the news. Did anyone you know get hurt? You know me. I tend to keep to myself. I'm surprised you even know I'm here. Interpol called me when you applied for the job, part of their extensive background checks. I gave you a glowing recommendation. Thanks. What do you want? Jeez, Adam, I know I did some questionable things in the past, but a lot's happened in the last two years, to both of us. That's true. For what it's worth, I'm glad you made it out of Panchea. Thank you. It wasn't easy, as I'm sure you know. I was at death's door by the time the rescue crews pulled me out of the wreckage, and while the doctors were stitching me back together, my company fell apart. There wasn't anything I could do to stop it, not from a hospital bed. I heard Tai Young Medical bought everything up. They're the only biotech corporation that could, after the incident. Our patents, our tech, everything. Oh well, sometimes one dream has to die so another can rise from its ashes. You heard anything from Megan? After all we went through, I thought she'd stand by me. Still, you know, she always wanted to be at the cutting edge. She didn't see a future for herself in Detroit, so she went to VersaLife. She moved to Hong Kong? San Francisco. They've got an offshore research facility there named Rokaseka Beach. I'm sure you've seen it in the news. California, huh? I wonder if she's told her mother. You want my advice, son? Write her out of your life. Because I'm damn sure she's written us out of hers. You talked to Pritchard lately? Frank! <laughs> out of all of us, I think he's the one who's changed the least. He'd probably tell you there wasn't anything about him that needed changing. I'm sure he would. But when the world transforms itself the way ours has, people need to adapt or get left behind. Frank's freelance now, but he's still in computer security, still in Detroit. I don't know if he'll ever leave. Your message said you were going to London. Casual trip? Or is this tied to the new dream? I'm, uh, meeting with the Santo group. Nathaniel Brown and his investors. Santo? They built the Udalek complex, the Og Ghetto, here in Prague. Why are you meeting with them? Brown's got big plans. He wants to focus on real solutions. Ideas that look to the future. Y you've heard of the Safe Harbor Initiative? I've heard of Rabia. The walled city he and his company are building in the desert for Augs? The bee is just a part of it. We're talking about self-sustaining, energy-efficient arcologies that can be replicated anywhere on Earth. Cities built by the Augmented, for the Augmented. Where the dream of self-controlled human evolution lives on. It may not seem like it right now, son, but one day, people will move on from the incident. And when that happens, we'll be ready for it. I'm glad we caught up, Adam. I've always tried to look out for you, you know. That bombing yesterday. You didn't call to talk about the bombing. Just ask. Nothing, really. I just need a signature so I can finish filing the bankruptcy paperwork. You need my signature? Yeah, apparently there was some kind of bureaucratic mix-up caused by you being declared legally dead for a year. The apartment in Detroit was leased in your name, even though we paid for it. Fine. Send me the paperwork. Thanks, Adam. I appreciate it, really. Goodbye, Seraph.
This poses a substantial security risk. Miller, it's Jensen. It's good to finally hear from you, Agent. You doing okay? Sorry about the downtime. I'll get to the office as soon as I can, but my Augs took a hit during the attack. I need to get them looked at. Of course. There's a lot of work ahead of us, Jensen. I'll see you when you get in. Dr. Kohler, I need to pay you a visit. Jensen! Now's actually a really good time for me, like right now! Something wrong? There are some guys in my bookshop. Pissed off the valley gangster looking guys. So, unless you want bloodshed the day after a terror attack. The front door isn't the most peaceful option. I got it. Some of us remember. The street is off limits, Oyobok. Private function. All businesses are temporarily closed.
Second chances! Jensen! Thank God! I'm down in the dungeon, man! You remember the title of my super secret book, right? I remember it's red. Jensen, my favorite techno wonder kind. Sorry about the goons, man. They, uh, they didn't give you too much trouble, did they? They're not gonna be a problem anymore. What did they want? You behind on your protection money? I, I don't think it's about money. I got this little misunderstanding with their boss, Otar. You know how it is with these gangster types. Enough to know that there's no such thing as a little misunderstanding. The Valley internal politics. I... I'm gonna get it sorted. Gonna see the big boss myself. As soon as things settle down. The day after a bombing, man, it's... Well, I mean, it's scary, right? I'm surprised people go out at all. Sometimes people don't have a choice. My systems took a hit. I was hoping you could help me get everything running again. Took a hit? You mean... Oh, shit! Why didn't you say so? We need to get you in the chair. The chair. You know I've always wanted to get a closer look at those sari fogs of yours. A real close look. So, uh... So let's strap you in, get the gas going, and then... Well, then I just need to sort of dive in. Huh? Feel my way around. Let's just get this over with. Relax, Jensen. It's... it's gonna be fine. You... you won't even know I'm in there. You'll feel weightless, far away, like you're someone else. But Kohler's gonna bring you back and make you you again. Before you know it. I swear I didn't mean to... Your retinal display should be back soon. You can still move, huh? What did you... I was... I was trying to connect the unconnected. But you got some strange fucking ogs back there. I mean, I, I probably shouldn't have. Here, let me get you some water. Or something stronger, maybe? Water. You got it, Jensen. Just, uh... Just ease out. Really, don't freak out. Rebooting was the only way to save you. Save me from what, Colin? Core meltdown. You almost melted my chair. So I reset you, and I found these... these, uh... I think it's better if I show you what I found. Bring up your system display. You need to see this for yourself. These are your implants. You're familiar with all these, right? Yeah. David Seraph installed them. Took two years for my body to get used to everything. Right. Well... I had to undo some of that getting used to. What's going on, Kohler? Why do I feel different? Something was trying to vampire the juice out of you. I couldn't figure out what until after the reboot. 
Turns out your Factory Zero is not the standard Factory Zero. What am I looking at? Experimental fucking test dogs, man. Hidden inside your body. You're telling me I got more implants than I thought I did? More than your body can handle. Pretty cool, right? I'm not sure yet. I want to show you what happens when you activate one of these suckers. See that? Major spike in your power consumption! Where the hell did these things come from? I can't answer that. All I know is the explosion must have woken them up. But man, you wanna use these crazy fucking things? That's your right. We just gotta make sure it doesn't fry you. Now I think I maybe got an idea on how to do that. Try shutting down one of your other implants. You know, just for fun. See that? Cooled you right down. You have the power to balance your system if you want. Just, you know, don't activate everything all at once. What would happen if I did? Well, you'd suffer some major glitches due to overheating. We're talking risk of permanent damage. So, you know, maybe don't do that. All right. Reset me now, Kohler. I'll reactivate what I need myself. Okay, so I'm not always gonna be there for you like this. I can't just follow you around to reset things and hold your neural weave together. Whatever choices you make from here on out, they're your choices. But you were supposed to be my AUG expert. I specialize in Chinese black market, okay? The shit I found hidden inside you, spliced into your system like that, looks to me like it's from Mars, man! I'm pretty sure they're not from Mars. I just... I feel bad. You deserve answers I can't give you. I can help manage your system better than anyone in Prague. I help you make the most of the new Augs we just found. But you can't tell me where the hell they came from. As far as I know, David Seraf installed all my Augs. There's something inside me I don't know about. He's the one I need to talk to. I am familiar with Saris' work. These new orbs, they... They look different to me. I mean, that neodymium shell. Who uses dimorphic magnetoreological fluid like that? Seriously, if you talk to Sarif, you need to ask him that. Shit really stands out. Pretty fucking cool, actually. This tune-up went longer than I expected. Let's wrap this up. Right. Here, take some Praxis kits for the trouble. Praxis solves everything. Keeps customers happy. Just, uh, remember what I showed you about managing your juice. It's gonna be a balancing act for you. Well, unless... Unless what, Kohler? There could be a way to optimize. It's just... It would involve getting something from Otar. A neuroplasticity calibrator. There's a way for me to use everything I have without compromise? I want to know about it. I was hoping you'd say that. I order all my fancy tech from this illegal catalog, right? But... My last shipment got intercepted by Otar Botkoveli. The same Otar whose men were looking for books out there before? I am not going to force you. I want you to want to do it. I want you to want to be an augmented god among men. If that sounds like something that interests you, then you should know that Otar runs an underground casino in the Chisti district. The entrance is in a small courtyard. Of Lavni Street. Thanks for the info, Kohler. Thanks for the praxis.
Jensen, it's Miller. Listen, I need your eyewitness report as soon as possible. What's your ETA? Depends on how many cops ask to see my papers. Fuck. Not much I can do about state police. After yesterday's attack, get in when you can. Miller out. Somewhere. The song, it's in my head. It makes me think of the old puppet shop. Remember they were when we. going on? I didn't expect to hear from this. I didn't expect my doctor to find dormant augs hidden in my system. What? Dormant experimental augs. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Adam, you know the decisions I made for you two years ago. Yes or no? No! All the work we did on you was above board. You have my word on that. What, uh, what exactly did you find? Experimental test dogs spliced into my system. Kohler said something about a neodymium shell. Who would have designed something like that? God, you've got a Titan dog? It's impossible. It was just a concept. You just said this wasn't you. It wasn't. The DoD showed me schematics three years ago and asked me if I thought it could work. It was designed by somebody else, Vadim Orlov. Megan and I interviewed him once, but he wouldn't have fit in. These schematics you saw. Don't suppose you kept a copy? They were classified. I never had a copy. 
The only reason I even saw them was because the Defense Department valued my opinion. Seraph Industries did good work back in the day. When we signed a schematic, you knew it was solid. Orlov? Sounds Russian. Who is he? Why wouldn't he have fit in? He was supposed to be a boy wonder, a neuroscience prodigy. He got his master's degree in Moscow, post-grad in the U.S. His grades were off the chart, but his theories were, uh, sketchy at the times. Megan said his ethics were questionable. Megan? Megan Reed said that? The woman who gave you my DNA to experiment with? We didn't hire him, Adam. Two minutes into the interview and I could tell Orloff didn't like his ideas being challenged by anyone. Least of all, a strong woman like your ex. I've got to find this guy. Adam, let me track him down for you. I'm leaving for London soon, but I can make phone calls, reach out to people. Seraph Industries may be gone, but my name still carries weight in certain circles. Do it. Contact me by info link when you have something. I won't let you down on this. I never felt right about losing touch with you after Panchea. When I heard you'd shown up in Detroit alive a year after everyone thought you were dead, why didn't you get in touch with us? I couldn't. Rescue crews pulled me out of the ocean and dumped me in a clinic in Alaska. Nobody knew who I was. For a long time, neither did I. My god, son, you don't think... I mean, that could have been when... Find Orlov, Seraph. I've got questions I need answered. I will, I promise. I'll call you. Initiated. Access granted. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Denied. Yeah, you know, before that little... Please, don't shoot me. You 
want to tell me what's going on here? Artem Crafts? Looks like an old toy factory to me. Except something tells me it's not toys you make here. This is Drachomir's place. The men outside are his men. They use it to... Well, to run whatever scam they have going at the time. And what scam do they have going right now? Documents. I make forgeries for Drachomir and his men. Take permits and passports and police credentials. Whatever he wants or whatever he thinks he can push on people. Basically, if Drachomir tells me to make it, I make it. So it's a forgery ring, and you're pretty much at the heart of it. Makes me sound like a ringleader. Milena is no ringleader. I just... I'm not very good at saying no to people who point guns at me. How did you get mixed up with these scam artists? I started forging documents to help my friends. There were people in my life I didn't want to lose. To watch someone get displaced just because they are augmented. Displaced to the Utilec complex, Gollum City. There are people there who do not deserve to be. They are sent to hell simply because their permits aren't up to date enough. So you work for these guys because you think it's the right thing to do? I work for them because they scare me. The men outside, their job is to protect me. <laughs> Either I fulfill the orders Drachomir throws at me, or... or he does that whole gun-waving thing. I do not like guns. What else can you tell me about Drachomir? He runs a fake police checkpoint with some friends of his. The police credentials I made for them. They are some of my best work. Very convincing. Unfortunately. So the real cops, they think Drahamir is one of them? Either that, or he pays them off. They say there is a brotherhood among police officers. I guess it extends even to the fake ones. Where do I find Drahamir? He controls a fake police checkpoint just down the street. It is where he stops people and extorts them. Preys on their fears, their desperation. If you're lucky, he charges you some ridiculous amount in exchange for one of my fake docs. And if you're not lucky? He will string you along. Funnel you into an endless series of promises and payments. For some it never ends. And all this happens in broad daylight in the middle of the street? Amazing what people would tolerate when they are scared. A man with a gun and a fake uniform stops you in the street, tells you you must go somewhere, pay for something. Most people will do whatever he wants. But... You are not like most people, are you? You think I just walk around shooting people? Don't you? I like knowing there are other options. Okay, so stab him, scare him, or get the police to do their job for once. I remember Drahumir mentioning this cop who threatened him. She was hanging around his checkpoint. Who knows? Maybe there really is one good cop in Prague. That sounds like the safest bet. Otherwise, you're asking me to pick a fight with a bunch of guys in uniforms, scam artists or not. The whole city would come down on you. Still, up to you how you want to handle it. Right. And just so we're clear, you are going to stop forging documents now. I don't like getting into trouble. And even worse is other people suffering because of me. No more faking documents ever again. Unless someone really, really needed one. Then I'd probably do it. I mean, if we knew for a fact that we could help someone, we should do whatever we can, right? It depends what you have in mind. The docs I make, they really can fool the authorities. Sort of. Sort of? Drachomir flooded the streets with forgeries, so the city started tracking more, adding scanners, validation numbers. Now, unless one of my permits gets activated in the city database, it's just plastic. 
So you're telling me these people pay for forgeries and then probably get deported anyway? It doesn't have to be that way. I have two permits that I literally just made. And I think we can really help these people. If you're willing. Alright, how do we help? Their names are Edward Broad and Irenka Bauer. Drachomir was going to charge them like 20 more times. But maybe you could just give them the forgeries? Early Christmas present? You said it's just plastic that people get deported anyway. How does this help them? I think I know how to get them activated. As long as you're willing to follow through. Alright. I'll go meet Edward and Irenka. In the meantime, are you going to be okay here? Once they learn that Drahomir's been taken care of, the others will leave me alone. He's the one I'm scared of. By the way, there is a safe over there where they keep their money. I'll give you the code. 2489. Feel free to help yourself. What about you? Way ahead of you. Because Dragon Yellow looks like a frog. Does it mean he's a real frog? He showed me his potential. We were machines, sir. But terror and pain have turned us into souls. There is something struggling within. Moments when something enters into us. Thoughts come upon us which are not of us. We feel that. What we did not used to feel. We hear voices. Teach us to have children so that we may love them. Primus. Is that you? Are you a Renka Bauer? Who are you? Please, take whatever you want. Just leave us alone. I didn't come here to take anything. You haven't? Irenka... She gets very scared. Whatever you've come to tell her, you should first tell me. I... I am the robot Helena. Irenka is not well. We must shield her. Irenka paid someone to make her an AUG permit. To keep her from being taken to Gollum City. That someone wants to come through. Ready? If, if that's true, she'll be... We'll be very happy. If we can stay in Prague, maybe they'll even... There was once a great play that predicted so much. Robots, revolutions, the future of mankind. She memorized all of it. It's her way. It's my way of trying to understand. I'll take your word for it. Here. This permit is good enough to fool anyone who takes a look at it. Does... Does this mean I don't have to hide anymore? It's not that simple. You're still in danger. The permit needs to be activated. Otherwise, a routine scan will mark you for Gollum just the same. I don't understand. Sorry. There's no legal way for you to stay here. You should prepare for the worst. 
I, uh, we don't know how to prepare. I'll take care of the activation. Just keep a low profile until I can get it sorted out. Thank you. We appreciate it. Long, long time. Not only returning to people. To me. Leave me alone! Get lost, dog, before we turn our attention to you. Heard you're sitting on some cash. Make them go away, please. I told you to leave. Last chance, unless you want to be next. I'm getting out of here. Thank you so much for what you've done. Thank you. I, I didn't know what to do. There are not many people a man like me can call on for help. What do they want? What everybody wants. Money. To feel strong. At first I thought they were here to take me away. Any moment now, they will take me away. Maybe it doesn't have to come to that. Don't get an old man's hopes up. Unless... My daughter? Did she send you? She did, didn't she? Why else would you? Please, tell me. When can I see them? No, that's not who sent me. You paid someone for an AUG permit. Do you remember? Oh, yes. Those officers who stopped me. Sure, I remember. They charged me three times already. Said it was a very complicated process. I knew it wouldn't get me anywhere. But you kept paying? I was desperate. I would pay a hundred more times if it meant I could stay close to my family. To what is left of them. I want to stay in Prague. Why did you get augmented in the first place? When my children had children, I wanted to keep up with them, mentally and physically. I wanted to take them to the park, push them on a swing. All of this was before the... You know. Before the incident. Right. Incident. How ironic, hmm? I get augmented so I can be closer to them, and now, and now it's not permitted. What happens if they catch you without a valid art permit? They'll take me to that complex they built, Golem City. Are you ready for that if it happens? Not one bit. I'm an old man. I'd rather die somewhere that's familiar than live somewhere that's not. Golem City. Pfft. It's for criminals and revolutionaries. I am neither. Where's your family now? They're here in Prague. There are places I can go sometimes, from where I can catch glimpses of them, and at least I know they're all right. You never speak to them? Maybe someday. I think I still have a chance with my grandson. Children are better at forgiveness than adults. Is it not true? They're better at forgetting. What happens if they catch you without a valid art permit? They'll take me to that complex they built. Golem City. Are you ready for that if it happens? Not one bit. I'm an old man. I'd rather die somewhere that's familiar than live somewhere that's not. Golem City. Pfft. It's for criminals and revolutionaries. I am neither. Here. This permit should fool anyone at a glance. I remember the officer saying I would have to pay again. Is that true?
No, I'm not here to collect. I'm here to help. I appreciate that. So, what now? Do I have to activate something? I can put on my nice coat if necessary. If I have to wait in line, I'll wait in line. I don't complain. The situation's a little less legal than that. Oh. Do you need me to break in somewhere? I'll take care of it. Just try to keep a low profile until I figure out how to validate your number. All right. I can do that. I will wait here. Milena, I met with both those Augs you made permits for. Now what? There is a computer at the government kiosk that handles the Augment Permit Registry. You'll have to... access it. Quote, unquote. You mean break in? The code to the server room is 6788. Be careful, there may be other forms of security. All right, I got it.